all right guys so in the previous sections we have already learned that uh, what are the different types of tools for email header analysis what is uh, exactly the email header is and what is SPF, DMARC and DKIM. Now in this section there is two things we are going to learn. The first one is that how you are going to identify whether an email address is spoofed or not. right? And the second thing is that we are going to learn that uh, uh, the practical one I can say that how actually we have to analyze. So if you can see the first uh, uh, the first one thing is that email spoofing identification. So if you can see we what actually you need to check about that, right? So for the first one is that from the from field you have to check and I have marked as a yellow you can say a return path or reply to. So this is the very important and I'll, I'll show you that how actually you have to check. So generally what is happening in that key uh, when the original sender is different from the written path, correct? Then this is the very strong indication that, that this email has been spoofed, right? Or the reply, uh, reply to is as well. Whereas you have to also investigate the original IP, I mean the originating IP. So these things, all these things I'm going to show you. Apart from that, you have to look for the authentication results, right? And okay, uh, let me show you again. Uh, this yeah the suspiciousness of received SPF the authentication results and inconsistency or uh, anomalies right so now without any delay let's directly jump on the outlook so here is my outlook so I already have to told you that how actually you, you, you have to go and you have to take the headers of that particular email for example this is my uh, one of the email right so how I can directly go and uh, take the, uh, you can say header of this particular email. So let me double click on it, right? It is going to pop out. Once it is going to pop out, here is a very small button, you can say message options, right? So you can click on it. Whereas if you can't see this option, if you will click on, uh, this will show like this one, right? So if you can't see that button, you can just go in that file, right? Here is the properties. So you just click on that properties and the same thing is going to open. So just click on it and control A and control C, right? So now there is two to three ways to analyze. The number one is the manual. I recommend personally that you have to uh, investigate, analyze this email header uh, manually. Don't use the tools, whereas there is no harm to use any kind of tool because all these tools are just parsing. It is not, you know, storing your, uh, you can say, uh, data. Whereas it is totally depends on your organization that whether they allowed some open source tool or not. So let me show you the notepad. Okay. Here it is the notepad. Now here, all these informations are here. Now again, I'm also going to show you with the help of tools. This is just a, you know, I have just copy and pasted. Nothing I have, I'm doing as of now. So let me show you some tools. Let's say Axe Toolbox. So this is one of my favorite tools. Go in the email header analyzer and just copy, uh, paste that particular header, whatever you have copied. So click on analyze header and once you will click on that analyze header, you can see there are a lot of things you will get, right? Now how to analyze this in, uh, you can say, firstly, I'm going to show you in MX toolbox, then we will move to the manual one. So see, uh, from where it is actually coming from here, the max one, right? This is what actually the server, right? mail.productionoutlook.com having this IP. This is a local IP. Obviously, it's my IP, right? And mail. This is what actually uh, the center from it is co coming from the Azure, right? From the cloud and having the IP 20.51. And this is what the host name, right? This is what actually the address. And again, this is the SMTP server. Here it is uh, with the all details, 1.2, Cypher, every detail you will get it. 
and width belongs to time. So if you can see here in the blacklist section, this has been blacklisted, right? But you have to analyze it, whether it is blacklisted or not. So as of now, you can see it's already belongs to Azure. So there is no need to, uh, you know, directly jump onto the conclusion that it is uh, blacklisted. Apart from that, you have to analyze, you have to uh, check the scenarios, right? And how this is nothing but how from where, uh, from uh, I mean uh, via which uh, server that actually that email has been received by you. Okay. Apart from that, if you go down, here is the header form, right? So here is a lot of information you will get. The authentication results, SPF is equal to pass. You can see here, received SPF pass. DKIM signatures from from where it, this email uh, ID is uh, sorry this email is coming so it is coming from Microsoft Azure Azure no reply Microsoft.com right and the, this is a date this is a subject a message ID is very important see here this is this will tell you the reason the reason from which reason it has been come from which server it is actually coming R2 this is where I got uh, received. This is my email address, cybercc.onmicrosoft.com and mine version. Okay, now you can see return path. Remember, I have shown you that yellow part, that highlighted part, right? That the from and return path should be same. If it is not same, then there is a very strong indication that that particular email is spoofed, right? So here in my case, it is same. We will see it is same. So this email is not spoofed, right? And apart from that, what you can check for that? Okay. Okay, that's it. I mean, uh, we have enough information uh, just to conclude that whether this email is spoofed or not whether this email, uh, I mean the header analysis or the IP is malicious or not. We have enough evidences from uh, this part. I hope you understand here. But let me tell you the manual, uh, that how actually you can do the manual. So the first thing is that once you will go here, received from, everything you will get same as whatever the uh, Max toolbox show you. So from where you have received, from which server you have received, uh, you will get each and everything. What is the host name? Everything you are going to get it. Whether the SPF is passed or not, you can see here, right? Received SPF, SPF is passed. Okay. Now from here it is Azure no reply Microsoft.com, right? So I am going to check the return path. Return path, right? So here it is. Return path is same. And let's say envelope sender. There is an envelope sender. If it is in your email, you can check. Envelope is nothing but from where actually that email is originating. Sometimes it happens that you will not get the some return path. You, you will get some envelope sender. So you need to check it as well. Envelope. Okay. So it can't find. So it is not there, right? See here. But keep remember, this is a very, uh, you know, important point envelope sender. You have to check it because this is a very, you know, important thing from where you will get to know from where it is actually coming. So you will get to know from envelope sender as well, whether it is, you know, uh, uh, spoofed or not. So the same thing, if you want to check the originating uh, IP, so let's say, okay, there is no originating IP it is showing. But whereas in the already itself uh, coming from the Azure, which is from the cloud, right? Sometimes you will get, but you have to check the originating IP. Okay, so that's it, guys. I hope this is very, this will be very clear, and um, uh, you make sure that you are checking all these fields. Very important: return path from originating IPs, receive pass, authentic uh, authentication results, uh, message ID, and the envelope sender. Right. So I hope you have already uh, note down all these things. Uh, with that, this this header analysis has been, has been finished, and we'll talk about from uh, 
uh, from the next videos about something else which is related to phishing email investigation. Till then, bye bye. Take care. We'll meet you in the next video.